Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can do a picture-in-picture -picture overlay inside of DaVinci Resolve 15, and also how we can do a split-screen video with one video on one side and another on the right-hand side. So I'm going to get started by dropping my two video clips into the timeline. So here we have one, and here is the other one. So you can see that we have two clips on two separate video tracks, but the problem is that they're both taking up the full size of the screen. So whichever one you want to reduce down to a smaller picture in picture size, the size of a webcam that you might overlay with a game, that video should be on video track two because that's always the one that's going to show in front. And the one that you want to take up the full width of the screen should be on your video track one. So next what I need to take the video track two clip and do is to go over to the inspector in the top right hand corner and to reduce the zoom. I would recommend starting with something like 0.5 reducing it to a quarter of its overall size, reducing it to a quarter of its size by reducing the width and the height by half. Now what we can do is modify the position, either X position, Y position, or both, and put it in one of the corners. So I'm going to take this X position and move it over here to the left hand side, and then I'll take the Y position and move it down as well. It's up to you if you want it to get right up against the edge or if you want it to pop out a little bit like we have here. So next what you'll probably notice is that that's still really big and in the way for our overall video. So one option would be to reduce the zoom further. Another would be to crop off part of the right hand side. So if you think that you only need part of the video clip such as the person's head who's speaking, then what you can do is you can scroll down a little bit here and you can come down to the cropping section. So if you want to crop part of this right side off, then we increase the crop right from zero and that part of the video disappears. So now we have more of our center background video showing and we only need to decrease the zoom a little bit more. So I'm going to perhaps drop the zoom down to right about there, move it a little further over on the X position, on the Y position. And now when we play our video back, we'll be able to have both clips playing at the same time. But one is in the corner with a picture in picture effect and the other one is still our main video clip. So the other alternative, if you want two videos to show on the screen at once, is going to be doing a split screen. So I'm going to drag the same video clips into my timeline in the same order, the motorcycle clip on the bottom and the person editing on top. So in order to get a simple split screen effect, we're going to need to use some combination of changing the position of X moving one clip to the right or another to the left, and probably some cropping as well. So I'm going to start by moving the top video clip, 960 pixels to the right, uh, which is half of the video width because they are 180p resolution clips, which means they have a base resolution horizontally of 1920 pixels. So that moves this halfway across our output size. Uh, conveniently, I would assume that you want the person to be the focus of your split screen. So that looks pretty good already. But if your clip looks a little bit different, you might actually adjust the position a little bit more to the left so that you can have the important part showing over here on the right hand side of the screen. And then for this annoying bit where you don't want it to show up, you can simply crop left. And then that would give you pretty much that result. But uh, because that's not necessary here, I'm going to return the position back to 960 because uh, I thought that looked okay as it was. And now what we need to do is take the bottom clip and adjust the position. So I could just do negative 960 pixels here, but that will only show the right hand side of the clip. And because the motorcycle is at the center of this clip, we really want the person going down the highway on the bike to show. So instead, I'm going to adjust the position back towards the right until the motorcycle is in frame. So somewhere right around there. Now, when the clip is in the background, we don't have to crop it because although there's some video footage over here, uh, the clip on top always shows in front. So cropping the bottom clip is going to be unnecessary. So after adjusting the position a little bit more, we pretty much have our split screen and we can hit play to see how it looks. So I'm going to hit play here. It may be a little laggy while it's rendering in the timeline, but that's the basic idea. So you have two videos playing side by side with each other and you can essentially have them show whatever you want. So that's how you do a picture in picture overlay and a split screen inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. I hope that this video was easy to understand and helpful for you guys. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future video content.